Ah, oh, best top out ever. in the series ever since I was a young kid. This is pretty much where my love for skiing developed. It's also where my passion for the environment, for wildlife, came to be. My name is Molly and I am a skier out of South Lake Tahoe and a climate activist. Super summer I watched and I know many others watched the Calder fire rip through hundreds of miles of my home and beautiful untouched forest. Let's get straight to our wildfire coverage right now. It's going to be another tough day for firefighters on the Caldor fire. Conditions are some of the worst that we've seen since it started. The fire is pushing deeper into the Tahoe Basin and after two weeks it is now burning in two counties, El Dorado and Amador County. We continue our live TV I had enough, so I nervously called into the emergency council meeting to make sure that the root of this issue was being discussed. So I don't know if this is the right time, but I think as this is seemingly becoming our norm um, and where we live and as trajectory is showing, it seems like this is going to be getting worse. Um, I just want to know that you guys are thinking about our future. I would just say I think you could hear in Molly's voice something and the sentiment that I think all of us hold and it's extremely challenging and hard time and I know all of us on this council and everyone that works for the city is taking this, um, this current threat and future threats to our beautiful lake extremely seriously. Um, so just know that Molly and thank you for calling in. I just want to say real quickly just to piggyback on Devin's comment that um, Molly I appreciate you calling in and as a father of a 15 year old I hear you loud and clear and I think all of us on this council share your uh, your sentiments about what's at stake and we're seeing it play out in our community. We've seen it in the Dixie fire throughout the west throughout the world and uh, you know, th this is just indication that we need to be even bolder in, in uh, setting the example and our response to climate change that drives fires like this that helps us all up in the community. So thank you for, uh, for calling in and making that comment. I hear you loud and clear. Hey, Mike, catch up. A little bit of snow. Oh, God. 
Tahoe has created this bond um, and attachment to the environment and to my home that I'm incredibly grateful for and that I'll forever cherish. The wildlife that is unable to escape from this fire is devastating. They're affected by the smoke. If they were able to escape the flames, their resources were completely wiped out and they were left with nothing. I think the most important thing is to just openly discuss this issue and hold our authorities responsible because this isn't an individual issue this is a systemic issue and as redundant and cliche as that sounds it takes us to make this clear that this is what we want to be addressed this is our home and this is thousands and thousands of lives at stake So I decided to gather troops and and gather like-minded people who care about this as much as I do and it seems like there are a lot of us. Now I'm organizing an effort to address the city council to take climate action seriously in South Lake Tahoe. And our next caller is Kat. Kat, you have four minutes with council. I urge the city to update its 2017 100% renewable energy resolution with these and other goals of the zero energy district, which could make the city the first in the country to achieve a fully decarbonized clean energy grid for all time periods. Lovely hello city council. Um, thank you for having me on here today. This town can do something that would be monumental and, and be just so special, I think, to this country. We have a lot of unity on the issue of climate change. We have very specific goals and we intend to meet them and we also vote. You know, I support all of the 2017 goals that were written out. Something that caught my eye was, you know, the, the goal was 50% um, renewable electricity by 2030. That's only eight years away and 100% renewable by 2032. I totally believe this is possible for our community and I really would like to make this a policy and hold, you know, city council and the whole community um, accountable. Our renewable resources by 2030 is so exciting um, and knowing that we have a platform to show our support um, with the STZED grant becoming city policy makes me very pleased and Makes me very proud to be a part of the community in South Lake Tahoe. We can, Molly. Go ahead. You have four minutes with the council. Even though we didn't get this funding for this project, I, you know, again, I support these goals, which included 100% of our electricity 24 7 from locally generated and locally owned renewable sources. I urge the city to update uh, the resolution with these goals uh, that were set forth in this grant and make those city policy. I'm feeling mean, I'm feeling mean 
tonight I'm feeling me Gonna make an ugly scene Tonight I'm feeling me I'm feeling me Tonight I'm gonna pick myself a fight people to speak up at the city council meeting. It turned out pretty great. It pushed the government to create a new aggressive climate resolution um, that is actually going to be discussed at this coming city council meeting. It's a symbol of change. It's, you know, it's a piece of motivation for us all to know that our voices is what is going to make a difference in our community and hopefully the entire world. Drink me.